video in today's video i will show you how to do augmented reality inside react native uh, with uh, the new architecture uh, now if you have seen uh, the new architecture video by nicola corti he mentions that objective c is only supported but of course uh, you can write swift uh, with the help of bridging header now for now to do augmented reality we have to use reality kit for ios okay and reality kit on, is only a swift api as far as i know please correct me uh, if i am wrong i don't think reality kit is supported by objective c it is only swift api also this video is only for uh, ios i don't have an android device which supports augmented reality so if you please subscribe to my channel and help me uh, reach thousand subscribers and uh, also the watch watch hour should be 5000 hours then only my channel will be monetized and once it is monetized i can buy an android phone with the money i make so please help uh, me reach that goal uh, yeah anyways uh, so getting back to our uh, project so i have a react native app and what i will do is that uh, first of all you have to go to the documentation enable the new architecture so you have so for ios so i'm not sure what's happening over here okay so for ios you have to run this command so after running this command you might face two issues one issue is this to resolve this you can just go cd back to the root of your react native project in terminal and run this then again try running this command from uh, ios directory if you still face an issue then it could be related to this so you can go through this blog post uh, or i have a video on my channel as well how to resolve this issue so yeah once you are able to run this command just run yarn ios in the, and in the metro bundler you should see fabric colon true uh, which means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native project uh, next uh, we have to go over here and it tells us that we have to create this folder but it mentions create this folder outside your project which according to me is wrong you should create it inside so uh, uh, inside your react native project i have created this folder rtn my ar okay and inside that create a js folder and create this file and i have just copy pasted this file from over here uh, i have removed the props because we don't want it and only thing change is this file name next what i have done is inside package dot i have create we have to create this package dot json as a sibling to your js folder and not inside js folder so i have created that and i have changed this file name over here and over here as well this should have been my ar but by mistake i typed it as mtar but that's fine like even in the uh, even in my uh, objective c++ file i will replace i will uh, like i will uh, write it as um, mtar instead of my ar but yeah you can write it as anything as long as it is consistent so i have created this so we have to create the pod spec file next so i have created that as well copy pasted only this file name has been changed okay we will not do android next you have to run this command but we don't require double dot because our folder is already inside react native project so this is the command which you have to run next you have to do cd dot dot which will move outside your react native project in terminal and then run this command so here uh, this should be your uh, react native project name or folder name react native folder name and react native folder name followed by the folder which we have created if you look in the documentation they have not written a project name or folder name over here because the rtn center text is already outside the project that's why but in our case it is inside that's why we have to write the project name so it will create this generated folder which you can see over here uh, next okay now i will show you the output so i was running this on my ipad and for some weird reason uh, react native does not occupy the entire width and height like i have not researched into it uh, but if you run it on your iphone it will occupy width and height make sure uh, you are in a in a room where there is enough light otherwise uh, it will otherwise the augmented reality model might take some time and also on low low end iphone or older iphone it might take up to a minute to load the 3d model but on ipad it is pretty fast so here you can see i have loaded this uh, 3d model and I, and I can rotate it scale it uh, move it uh, whatever all sort of things okay 
so here you can see i am moving it as well so yeah just open your go to your main ios folder and open this uh, xc workspace first thing which you have to do is that uh, go to info.plist and add this camera permission because that is required for augmented reality next go to your project and uh, inside here you have to make sure uh, this uh, minimum deployment is 14 as well as uh, inside over here uh, ios deployment target is 14 i mean it requires 13 but yeah just to be on safer side i have made it as 14 next important thing to note is that uh, so here while writing this code if you write this code and if you have selected a simulator then you will get an error over here so this is not actually an error this is a bug in xcode uh, so i would highly recommend before writing any piece of code make sure you have connected your real device to your laptop and selected the your real device otherwise if it is uh, if a simulator is selected of course AR stuff cannot be run on a simulator and but while writing code as well you will get a lot of errors so you might get confused that this code is not working on so, or uh, some sort but it is an xcode bug so be careful with that next first we have to create this rtn my ar manager again i have copy pasted this from documentation only the file name has been changed next i am creating this header file uh, same uh, copy pasted from documentation only file name has been changed then we have to create this file of course don't forget to change the extension to .mm it is an objective c++ file here as well okay just create this file for now next create this swift file as soon as you create this swift file my ar xcode will ask you do you want to create a bridging header click yes and it will create this bridging header file here you can see my bridging header name is rnavweb okay first we will go to the swift file and here you have to import all of this okay a reality kit ar kit combine and we are extending our ui view here i am creating our ar view so this is boilerplate code and here you can see that i have added this chair.usd this is a 3d model uh, make sure the 3d model is in usd for usdz format because that is the format recommended by apple i am not sure whether gltf obg or fbx uh, this kind of 3d models are supported or not by reality kit but uh, apple recommends to use usdz so i have created this ar view uh, this is boilerplate code and i have created this cancelable which is for combine then i have added this ar view uh, then this is for ns layout constraints and here i am loading the model async so here you can see chair.usdz which is our file name over here okay uh, and if we get an error i am printing out the error and cancelling the request if i am getting proper model entity i am creating a parent entity and inside that parent entity i am adding this model entity and then i am creating an anchor then the anchor is added to this ar view uh, then we are creating a generate collision shape so that our ar view behaves nicely with a real world environments and here we are providing it a gesture of translation rotation and scale so as well as uh, this is mandatory code so yeah that's it for this swift file uh, next go to the object to c++ file import your header file again this is copied from documentation only thing change is this file name over here you have to write this so that you can import swift code in object to c++ file this should be your bridging header file name so mine is rnavweb okay and this dash swift.h is common for everyone then uh, comment out this line this is uh, when you write inside the ios folder if you create an ios folder inside rtn my ar but we are not doing that right uh, we are creating directly in the, inside the main ios folders that's why you have to comment out this line and write this line next this is copied from documentation only thing is change is this file name okay uh, and here we are in, uh, creating variable of our swift file this has been copied from documentation here we are cre creating a ui view and assigning the width and height of our screen if you don't do this if you just do an init uh, then uh, the swift object might not you might not able to see your augmented reality so that's why the width and height is necessary then we are initializing our swift file and adding it to our ui view and the last thing is uh, yeah again copied from documentation only this file name has been changed so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching so see you in the next one bye